How's it going? David Crandall with another FL Studio tutorial. Today, I want to give you a little bit of a tip. Um, you ever browse around your browser and you're looking at samples and you kind of hear some things like you hear, uh, you know, some patches and stuff and uh, you bring it into your thing just goes off. I didn't even tell it to. I just wanted to drag it in here. Anyway, you bring it into your piano roll and you're listening to it and it works on the piano roll and stuff. But, you know, then you bring in a sample like this mandolin here. And we bring it to our piano roll and they're all the same note on every single key. What? What the heck? Okay, there's a simple way to fix this. Um, this isn't really an error. It's just kind of a thing you have to fix sometimes with samples. Basically, under the sample tab here, um, which usually by default pulls up, um, under time stretching, there's a little knob here that says time. And what this does is it tweaks the speed and the pitch at the same time. And sometimes Fruity Loops by default will set it to one. And how do I how do you know what's one if it's you know there's no numbers on it? Well check it out. If we turn the knob right here on the top corner under our little reference menu, uh you can kind of see a number going up and down. Okay? Now right here it's at one, okay? And that means this is where the original tempo was. So if we bring it all the way down, it turns it off. Okay, it turns the, the whole time thing off. And what this allows you to do is once you're in piano roll, it lets you generate different notes on the piano roll. Okay, so that's one little thing. The other thing I wanted to tell you just since we're here already is under the instrument properties here our or INS sorry I'm stuttering all over the place today whatever under INS this little tab here you'll see this uh, envelope here and what this allows you to do is to adjust the attack the sustain and whatnot so if we just check this box we can kinda click down here and see how it sounds Okay, so you can see the attack time isn't as quick as it was, so we can bring attack all the way down. See, it's kind of sustaining there. So that sounds pretty cool, you know? Um, we can bring the hold out a little bit longer. See how it does that? It kind of holds the... Uh, the note out and we could bring it all the way in and not have it hold at all and you know just to just tweak these I mean this is really cool you can tweak the sustain and whatnot you can just tweak everything and make it sound exactly the way you want it to so that's my little tip pretty short I know but I know some of you who are beginners who are watching my tutorials may run into this problem or probably already have and you know you find a cool sound but you can't you can't use different notes on the piano roll so this is just a little tip to kind of help you get by that and what's cool is you can also use it with other uh, samples say you record something with your voice you can literally raise the pitch up and just kind of get all funky with it, you know? All right, that concludes this tutorial. My name is David Crandall. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you are enjoying these tutorials, then please subscribe to my channel. I'll have many, many more tutorials on the way. If you have an idea for a tutorial, send me a line, leave a comment, or send me a message on YouTube, and I'll be happy to make that tutorial for you. Um, until next time, this has been another one of my tutorials. Take it easy.